using the new stamp set, Hit the Road. I just think it's so cute and it'll make a cute, um, like, bon voyage kind of card. Um, so anyway, so I've got my Jeep here. I've stamped it in Stays on Ink using the um, watercolor paper. And now I've squished my ink onto the lid of the ink pad and I'm going to use my aqua painter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up the ink off the lid. So you can see here I'm just kind of um, coloring it to pick up the color. And then I'm going to color in my Jeep, going in small circular strokes. And where you want it darker, obviously you're going to apply more color, and you can just kind of keep adding color. And if you wanted it to be lighter somewhere else, I'm just going to use the edge of my page here to scratch off extra color, I can pick up color and I can make that rim look a little bit lighter where the lights can hit it. So I can go from light to dark. I'm going to just color in my Jeep um, and I will be right back. Okay, so the last step here to coloring is doing the tires and the black ink you'll notice if you ever try in watercolor actually makes it a purple color. So I'm going to use the, the um, watercolor crayons and my aqua painter and I'm just going to pick up the uh, watercolor crayon on my aqua painter. And I actually got a lot of it on there, but that's okay. And I'll just work this around on my tire. And it's kind of waxy, so as you go, it just kind of drags that color along. And I'm going to actually um, pick up a lot of that color, because you're going to notice here, this one's almost gray, and that one's so dark. So what I'm going to do is just kind of keep coming back here to pick up my color for my other tires. And just while I'm doing that, I was just going to thank you guys. I've had so many nice comments about me doing my online punch class. Um, and I thought I'd answer a couple of questions. Some of you were asking if the videos would be posted on YouTube. They won't be. It's going to be on a password protected website. So the only way you'll have access to it is if you're in the class. Um, and the classroom is actually going to be open for three months. So as much as it's a 20 day class, um, you're going to have access to all of the PDFs and videos for three months online. So, And you can always download everything too onto your own computer so you have that to keep. Um, and if you need any more details, you can check out my blog at www.stampwithheather.ca. So I'm just going to make this one a little bit darker. And so, I mean, the neat thing about watercoloring is it's pretty um, forgiving. You know, you can kind of add and take away and it's not really a perfect look. You'll notice here on my truck what I did is I used um, going gray ink on the bumper and then I also used um, the chocolate chip ink here and I just kind of splotched it around the truck to make it look dirty um, just like the ground over here. So now I'm going to cut, the other thing also worth noting, sorry, is that I did the suitcases that are in the stamp set and uh, so I'll cut these pieces out and we'll put our card together. Okay, the next step of my project is I'm going to sponge every piece that my card is on. So to sponge, I just take my Stampin' Up! sponge, tap it on the ink pad, and then I just um, pull it down my page so it kind of feathers out. It's a very soft um, sponge look when I do it this way. And the more color you want, or the further on the page you want, the further you angle your sponge. So I just want a little bit of a subtle chocolate chip sponging here, and I'm going to do that on all my cardstock layers, and I'll be right back. Okay, to assemble our card, we have a creamy caramel card which is four and a quarter by eleven inches, folded at five and a half, so just a standard card. And then what I've used is just strips of the um, not quite na uh, navy designer series paper, which came in a level one hostess pack from Stampin' Up. And this is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I've got um, this piece here. No, sorry, this one's one and a half inches by five and a quarter. And then this middle piece is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And you'll notice that I sponged even between the layers, so you're going to be able to see the distinct lines between paper. And then my last one here is also one and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then I just took a piece of scrap um, paper. This is actually from Bella Rose, but it's chocolate chip. And I used one of the new Jumbo Brads. And I just cut this at a straight angle on this side. And then I've just kind of got a, a ripped torn piece here just to add some effect to my card. And then I've got my um, watercolored image, which is on the watercolor paper, which is two and a half by three inches. Then it's not quite navy, which is two and three quarters by three and a quarter. 
and then the chocolate chip here is 3 and 3 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. So I've got that on my card, and then using some dimensionals here, I'm just going to pop up the luggage here, and then on the inside, it's going to be a hope you have a fantastic trip. I'll be right back with the finished. Okay, so I just added a couple of things here. I wrapped some linen thread around my card, you can see here. Um, and then I just tied some extra pieces along the top. And then I just did a little paper piercing just around part of the square here. I just thought it needed another extra little something. And there is my Bon Voyage card that um, I'm going to use. So hopefully you like that, and thanks so much for stopping by.